Ohio State CJ Liddell joining me here on a post game chat after a 71 66 Ohio State victory over number one Duke. They stormed the floor down 15. EJ, you had two key free throws, big bucket to essentially get Ohio State over the line. How'd you guys come back? Man, just being resilient. I told everybody we had 20 more minutes. Uh, we were down 13 points a half, I believe. And uh, I just told us to fight through adversity. Uh, big games like this, uh, the guys we got on our team, uh, coach kept telling us we don't need any more than, than what's in this locker room. So we just kept fighting and kept being resilient. You came back from moments like this to be in that position. Obviously, last year you were, but really it's focused on you. I mean, doing Washington, obviously, was a big time score last year. How much do you relish these moments where it can come down to what you do inside or from the perimeter or at the free throw line? Man, shh. these moments are huge. Uh, uh, number one Duke team, it was loud in there. Uh, I'm so happy the, the shot was rocking how it was. But uh, those moments are built for big players. Big players make big plays. And uh, salute to them. They're a great team. They just uh, came off a roll win. But uh, I just felt like we were resilient. Hey, how about your peers that key you there? I mean, he goes for 20. I mean, you went 14 and 14, but he goes for 20. This is his second sort of big game. I mean, he had a buzzer beater earlier uh, this season. W what's it been like to see him blossom like this? Man, big time players make big time plays. And uh, Zed is a big time player. Uh, he just keeps working every single day. Uh, yeah, he makes big time plays. And also shout out to uh, Cedric Russell. He stayed ready. He came in the game, made a, made a whole bunch of big shots. Uh, just stay ready. And I felt like on the defense end, we all locked in and did our part. Yeah, that's a great point about Russell because he hit the big shot in the corner, hit free throws. And that had been the, sort of the question, who would be that other guard with maybe Michi? And, and he stepped up. And you guys need that, obviously. Defensively, though, you got Boncaro and Williams in foul trouble. They both ended the game with four. How'd you guys pull that off to where you put them sort of in a vice like that? Man, uh, I just felt like we were locked into the scouting report. We knew what they were going to do. Uh, just play hard. Just play hard. Got back on defense, didn't let them get transition buckets and limited them to one shot. Uh, that's a key of the whole season we've been working on is uh, not letting teams get second shots. So, Look, you, you split games down in Florida that both came out of the last shot beating Seton Hall, losing to Florida. How much did that prepare you for a game like this against Duke? Uh, honestly, those games kind of wore me down a little bit. I mean, very competitive games, went to the buzzer both times. And I just want to give a shout out to the training staff, honestly. They helped me out a lot, um, helped me out in everything. We just had to bounce back, get a whole bunch of rehab, a whole bunch of recovery, and come out fresh for this game. So. All right, last two things, EJ. First off, you guys aren't whole. At some point, you're going to get justice suing and and Seth Towns back we hope um what's this team going to be like once it actually is whole and healthy like I said like coach said we don't need more than what's in this locker room uh Seth and Gene and Justice is all in the locker room just ready to go uh hyping up the teammates uh and I just feel like as that for them to be older guys a fifth year and a sixth year uh they're going to be huge when they come back they're going to buy in their role and we're going to win a lot more games hey EJ you essentially assuming they take care of business against Iowa on Friday you put a competitor in the Big Ten at number one in Purdue by knocking off Duke. What do you think of that in the Big Ten? Uh, uh, that just shows how good the Big Ten is, really. Uh, Purdue's been playing well this year, and I can't wait to play them. But we got to worry about Penn State uh, Sunday. That's right. Unbelievable victory. Congratulations, EJ. More of this to come from you and the Buckeyes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes. Awesome. See you.